Добрый вечер. Привет из Минск. У нас сырое небо. Yeah, welcome back to Minsk, guys. It is a Monday evening. It's grey, it's wet, and it's quite cold. Hope you are enjoying the week. I hope you've had a good weekend so far. I had played a bit of squash, had a couple of beers, chilled and relaxed. You know, <clears throat> over the weekend I was thinking and an anniversary skipped by me. And that anniversary was my fifth year in Belarus. And it has gone very, very quickly. You know, I first came here back in 2014 during the Ice Hockey World Championship. I came as a tourist, had a great time. And I came back again in late December 2014, early 2015, January. And uh, this time I came back as an immigrant, a worker, living and working here in Belarus. It's one thing coming to this country as a tourist, and it's another thing coming as a person living and working here. You know, when you come here as a tourist, it's completely different. You have the, the whole tourist mentality, you know, coming here, staying in a hotel on Nezvis Amosti or booking apartments on Airbnb, staying for two weeks, having a good time and just leaving again. However, it's a completely different story when you come to live and work here. And the thing about it is when you come and live in this country as the only Irish person living and working in Belarus, it is quite a shock. There is the culture shock of dealing with a different culture, different mindset, different language. Most Irish immigrants, when they leave their country, when they immigrate to other countries, 90% of it, 90% of them go to other English speaking countries like the USA, Canada, um, Australia, New Zealand. And there are not many Irish people living and working in non-English speaking countries. Of course, there are quite a few in France and Germany and, you know, in places like Argentina and so on. But that's only just a small minority. So, yeah, I've had to deal with the culture shock and I've got over that culture shock. And how I did? Well, assimilation is very, very important. And in order to assimilate into society, you have to learn the language. That's very important. Now, I've been getting a lot of messages, questions from people, especially on Instagram, and especially this one from Craig Richards, who asked me, what's the best way to learn Russian? How did you learn Russian? Now, as you know, as you don't know, Russian is a very, very hard language to learn. In Russian, there are six cases. I can't name them all. I can name genitive, accusative, dative. That's only three I can name. And you also have words, for example, you know, you have words that take masculine, the feminine, and the neutral. Take the word voda, it means water. So if I want to say, I drink a lot of water. Okay? In Russian, I would say Ya pyu nogo vodi. Voda vodi. Pachumu. Simple. A lot of words, all the words take on a form. Masculine, feminine, neutral. Take the word one. What do I say? Adin, adna, adno. Again, it all comes down to what the word is. If the word is, is masculine or feminine or neutral, all the other words in the sentence, adjective, nouns, doesn't matter, they all change the endings. There's an example I gave there, you know. For example, Adna Kot. You know, one cat. Maybe you got that wrong. There you go. So, the best way to learn Russian is don't fret over the grammar. As Mr. Bald once said to me, he said, don't fret about the grammar, learn the vocabulary. 
that is very important. Sure, you're not going to be exactly 100% correct, and you might sound a bit silly, but as long as you are, you are understandable, people will know exactly what you're saying. They're not going to fret over whatever form of voda, vodi, vodu, or adin, adna, adno, or if, if you say I drink seven glasses of water a day, yapu, sedem, stakanov, vadin. They're not going to say stakan, stakanov. They're not going to care. As long as you make yourself understandable, people here will really, really appreciate what you are trying to say. If you learn the language, if you try and learn the language, people will respond a lot more. That is a fact. And also, it will enable you to assimilate a lot more in society. My advice to you is as follows. Learn the vocabulary. Learn the vocab, build the sentences from there. Mr. Ball said it. He's fluent in Russian. I'm not, by the way. But I have enough to get around. So that's important. Learn the vocab and everything will follow from there. Don't fret over the cases or the forms or why there's a, a B at the end of Jen. No. As long as you've made yourself understandable, everything is fine. Now, if you want to learn Russian, that's one method that I've actually said there. However, the best way, what's the best way to learn Russian? Vocab. And there is integration into society. And if you want to come here and learn Russian, I recommend you come fully immersed into the local society. How do you do that, Mr. Partizan? Well, if you want to come here and stay long term, you can enroll in the Minsk State Linguistic University. I'll leave the link below if you want. Even better yet, get yourself a local girlfriend who doesn't speak English. Even better, immerse yourself into the language. But Russian is a language that takes time. It's far more difficult than any of the other languages that I, lear I learned. French, for example, and Irish, a lot more difficult. However, if you are committed, and if you want to really, really learn, if you want to immerse yourself in the language, in the community, in the culture, then learning is the only way to go. That's one option, Minsk State Linguistic University. You could do what I do, and that is to hire a private teacher and or you can go and buy the Duolingo app or Rosetta Stone and take it from there. Practice, 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 revise. That is very, very important. So guys, if you want to learn Russian, forget about the grammar. Mr. Bald is right. Just concentrate on the vocab, the vocabulary and build the sentences from there. Who cares? If you say Bolshoi or Bolshoi, nobody's going to care. Or we say Dva or Dve. Who cares? Or, or we say Seri, Seroi. Nobody's going to pull you up over that. Just focus on vocab, build from there, and take it as it goes. So, Craig Richards, thank you very much for the question. And uh, if you want to learn Russian, Udachi Vas. Best of luck to you, because it's going to be a very difficult journey, and in the end, it'll it'll work out. It'll be most worth it, and it'll pay off a uh, hundred times over. All right, guys. So anyway, it's time to get back home. Ah, oh, it's a Monday evening. The sun is setting. So yeah. If you have any questions, guys? Please leave some comments below. Please like, share, subscribe to my channel. And you can also leave some messages on my Instagram page at Irish Partisan. So, on that, guys, do svidaniya, do srechi, kali laska. There's a word for you in Belarusian. Talk to you later. Poka.